Every hour of the day and night, without interruption, high-speed freight trains roar over the tens of thousands of miles of track which bind the North American continent together. These are the arteries through which flows the lifeblood of the nation. Most vital in the immense tonnage of goods hauled by the freight trains is food, especially perishable products such as fruit. In the long journey from the warm states in the south and southwest to the cities of the north, Fruits must be carefully handled and periodically checked to see that they arrive fresh at their destinations. Inspectors take the temperature of a carload of bananas to be sure that there is no danger of spoilage. Here in the transfer yard, the freight cars are sorted out according to their destinations and are reassembled into new trains. When a car is uncoupled, it rolls free. Gravity pulls it down a slight incline and it is switched off to become part of another fast freight. Each car is inspected from below to be sure that all is in order. Re-icing takes place at the transfer yards. The bunkers of the special refrigeration cars in which fresh fruit is transported are firmly packed with hundreds of ice, thus ensuring that the perishable cargo is fully protected for the rest of the long passage. Markers are placed to signal that all preparations are complete and the fast freight pulls out to resume its high-speed journey northward. The conductor, chief of the train crew, is responsible for the safe delivery of the freight. Meanwhile, the brakeman keeps a lookout for trouble up ahead as the train rounds a curve. days and nights of speeding over thousands of miles of track, the fast freight nears its goal, New York City. But the broad Hudson River bars the way, and the cars must first be loaded onto waiting barges for the final stage of the journey across the water to the metropolis. When the cars arrive, the business of unloading is swiftly and efficiently done so that the fruit, oranges, apples, peaches can be rushed to the markets and be ready and waiting for the multitude of housewives who will come a-shopping in the morning. So while the city sleeps, the gifts of the earth are placed on its doorstep. Once again, the fast freight has delivered its needed cargo.